Hello everyone. Welcome back. We're gonna be continuing with Valheim. And Ashley! Thank you so much for the follow, how are you doing? And I just hope you all have a nice chill time. We're gonna pick it back up with Joe Smithson. The most creative name. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna finish building the house. And we're gonna get ready to f go fight a boss. So that's the th two things. So, for people who weren't here yesterday, es essentially this game is kind of a mix of a more realistic looking Minecraft in the building side, but it has goals and bosses that you grow towards and you make yourself better to reach towards instead of just, you know, it just being about building and you don't have much direction. It actually gives you a direction to go towards, and that is, to me, as someone who kind of didn't really enjoy uh, survival games that much for a very long time. It's kind of a breath of fresh air that seems more interesting to me than anything else in the genre at least all right so we're gonna breaking down quite a bit of this we're gonna be redoing this whole part so that's the one annoying thing you can't sleep or use your workbench for fixing stuff and doing stuff if they don't have a roof on top of them. And that to me, that to me is I think my only, the only big problem I have with the game is that that makes no sense. <laughs> Why does it, I'm okay with the bed. Like, yeah, you probably don't, but a lot of these people, you know, especially since it's trying to be a little bit, obviously it's still very fantastical and whatnot. But since it's trying to be a little bit more realistic than something, say like Minecraft, you would think, you would think that they'd be, they, they'd allow you to just have a bed out in the wild. Oh, what came before? <laughs> so, so I played Mario as, you know, as I have been, but the catch was I did the hot pepper jelly beans. with every time I died. It was not a wise decision, to say the least. <laughs> it was not a wise decision at all. But, we're here. We're alive. Have you ever thought of playing Raft? I'm not a big survival game guy. Like, this game actually caught me by surprise. I have not tried R Raft. Uh, maybe I'll like it, but usually I don't. <laughs> I'll, I'll be completely honest. Usually I don't like survival games. I think I'll need some support here. So this actually, interestingly enough, it mixes the right things for me. Where, like, I don't know if other survival games would, so... Like I was mentioning, I love Bridge Builder, so the building mechanics of this game are actually super fun to me. I, I, <laughs> the last stream, I spent pretty much most of it building this house. So, I'm guessing that there, there's quite a bit more that I'll be able to, to do here in terms of that. Because it does seem like it's still, I'm still very much at the beginning. It's still going to open up quite a bit more. So I'm, that's one of the things that I'm really excited for too, is just the possibility. It's kind of, I think, when I did play like Minecraft and stuff, part of the excitement back then was like not knowing. I feel like now people know everything about Minecraft, so it kind of lost a little bit of its, its coolness in that way. So there's still a lot of unknown and I think Unknown is a, a very big thing for me to enjoy a game like this. Because if it's 
unknown. I think it's a lot more exciting. So this is, right now I'm just doing it as if it were just a, a nice house building, which also, another game that I just love the house building was The Sims. Oh, I'm out of wood. Okay, at least it's daytime. So we can go gather some more wood. You should check out the game House Flipper. No, I love House Flipper. House Flipper is also Chef's Kiss. But th that's the thing. House Flipper, you don't have to worry about. It's a little bit too just on the aesthetic side and less on the structure side. I like being challenged by like having to make a, a house stand. Also, yeah, if tree hits you, it hurts you, it can kill you. And also, hello Cam, how are you doing? It can hurt you, but... Oh, oh, like that. I should eat. But it, uh... It also destroys the things around them, so trees, and even, as you just saw with these smaller trees, it can, um... Uh, it can take them down for you, so... It's actually really cool that the physics applies in that way. That you can use a tree to take other trees down. And take enemies out. You should try Streamer Simulator 2. I don't know why it came to mind, but I heard it's fun. Maybe I should. Maybe I'll try that one. I saw that one. It looked so janky. <laughs> streamer Simulator <laughs> looks so janky. Like, it's another one of these early, <laughs> early access games, but that one looks like it's early access. I didn't have the torch. Ugh. Yeah, they have very grabby arms. And they have a bag on their back, a rock bag, where they put probably all the limbs of the children that they take away in the night. And I'm not into that. That's my, that's my lore that I'm making. They're kind of like the... The boogeyman. Granted, they could be a family, and I'm just kind of killing them. There's some small ones. Maybe I'm killing the children now. And this is like the papa. It's like, papa, papa, there's me, me. So the papa came, and but now I'm just like destroying the entire family. I'm making this really sad. <laughs> I guess that's what Monsters, Inc. was all to be about, supposed to be about. I don't think, I don't think... Actually, no, I don't think it was supposed to be about the feelings of the monsters and how they... Very much about just why monsters scare kids. But I feel like there was a movie or something about monsters and, like, them wanting to... being misunderstood. It seems like it would be a very... common theme. To do about like, monsters being misunderstood. Yeah, so the, these pigs are aggressive right now, but the bird that keeps coming back and tutorializing the game for me told me that the pigs can be kind, so I'm just not really messing with the pigs. Because you can, you can farm pigs. You can make a farm. That's a cool thing about this. I was just looking a little bit more today about this game yesterday. And you can straight up make towns, and that's really cool. Yeah, this is kind of cool, see? Have a little... I'll make a little balcony like right here. Oh, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. that shiny light over there. I don't know why I'm going for it. Everyone knows during the Viking era or pirate era, you really don't want to go to the first shiny light you see in the water. There's Siren. What? I just walked in the water. Where are we met? It's 
Ah! Turn back! This is a dangerous place. You have wandered into Black Forest. This place can be very dangerous for those unprepared for it. Prove you're worthy, Miss Link. I fear. That's why there's so many monsters coming in. Whoa. Look at these colors. That's why there's so many monsters coming towards my house. It's because I'm right next to bad guy lair. Good job. You live on the edge of danger. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I'm just going to raise the floor a little bit here. Uh, da -da. Which, it's my hope. I need to use my hope. Okay, and I want to level ground. There we go. What I'm going to do is actually build a chimney. It's going to be the first Valheim house with a built-in chimney. Maybe it is. Maybe I can call that. Don't like that the doors are single. Height. Look at that. That looks kind of awkward. Looks like a hobbit door. I really don't like these doors. I'm gonna do uh, a gate. The purpose of these gates is they're like supposed to be like gate gates, but I feel like they're the only reasonable doors in the game. Stop doing that, Rod. Okay. Boom. Like this is a reasonable door. And whoever sleeps here, is gonna have quite the view. So this is a. Uh, Kind of the, the guest room. Maybe I'll put a, uh, a little chest right there. Boom. This is, this is quite the house. Who wouldn't want to stay here? Now I need to kind of furnish the inside. But this is the house. Boom. It's ready. Maybe I'll make a window here. Yeah, I'll make a window. Check this out. Yeah. And this will be the last bit I'll do today. For the house. Then we can go adventuring some more. Nope. Boom. 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 And it's protected because of the little patio. So now even the person in the bottom can get a beautiful, gorgeous view of the outside. Everything meticulously thought out. Sleeping is underappreciated. Blair says sleeping is underappreciated. Like all humans hate going to bed. Once they're sleeping, they don't want to get up. It's true. It's true. And it's one of those things that, yeah, since you're a ki kid, you just hate going to bed, hate sleeping. But, oh. <laughs> You, says Kylie says oh I love going to bed Secret. but yeah but so many people I mean even as a kid you'd never want to go to bed ever and that's crazy cuz like what no no my chimney I thought because of the angle of the rain, it wasn't going to happen. Well, I'll be. This holds back the rain, but that doesn't. Uh, oh boy. Are there drastic changes of scenery? I don't know. I don't know. There might be. But I don't know. That is one thing that, now that I had my house complete, well, I was hoping, but now I have this chimney problem. But yeah, I definitely do want to find if there are more biomes in this game. And I'm sure there are. 
Are there any big survival games that don't have multiple biomes? Ooh, look at the, the wetness of this tree. You can see the shiny. Oh, wait, wait, oh, oh. Ooh, that surround. Breaking, uh-oh. You get away. He has two stars? No wonder I died so quickly. Look, the little chimney looks great. Ah, oh, this is a real storm. What game should I play for YouTube since I reset my YouTube account since all the old vids were bad? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this game, if you're into like survival game, might be a good one because I know it's getting big right now. A lot of people are talking about it, a lot of people are playing it. So it might be a good one. But it also depends on the stuff you like, I think. The best you can do is if you're doing something you like. Think of all the big streamers. They started off with... That's the thing, too. You need to kind of find your niche. And that's something I struggle with, because I, I don't have one game that I just love playing forever. And I think that that's one of the things that makes it very difficult for me specifically, is that I don't have a niche to start from. I kind of just go with whatever I'm enjoying playing at the moment. But if you have a game that you really love, you're really passionate about, and you think you could talk a, a lot about it, and just keep playing it for a long time, that is probably the best idea for a channel, for a stream, or anything like that. That's probably... You'll probably hear, if you ask other people, you'll probably hear that from them too. Do something that you're passionate about, because you'll be happy, and you'll be able to do more and more of it without getting fatigued. Because it's, it's a job, if you do it especially, like, if you want to, like, become a YouTuber or whatever, it's very tiring. You're working quite a few hours a day, but... You want to play Pokemon, but you're not good at commentary. Honestly, commentary is something you practice. In the beginning, I used to be way worse. I don't think I'm the best at commentary. I think um, there's still a lot of room for me to improve, but I used to be way worse. <laughs> so it's one of those things that you kind of start practicing. It's one thing that it makes it a lot easier is if you do it with a friend. Because when you have someone there to talk to you, it makes it a lot easier. So all the other difficulties you may have while you're getting used to doing it are eased a bit because you have other people there with you. So if, you know, something makes you uncomfortable, if you have some difficulty in the game, it's a little bit easier if you have a second person. And then once you feel comfortable doing that, then you can go on and like do it and do it on your own. That's something that helped a lot. I, someone that's been on the channel multiple times, Jojo, we used to actually record and stream a lot together. I did do a lot of stuff before doing it with him, but I remember it being so much easier when I was doing it with him, just because of that. So even after you get better at doing it, it'll still be easier doing it with someone else just because of the nature of it. But that will definitely, like you can still do it on your own, but it, it is harder, it is harder for sure. So, one of those, those things that if you're able to, definitely try getting someone to do it with you. Someone that probably enjoys the game, the games as well. So someone who loves Pokemon. Screw you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Whoa, that's kind of cool. I should play Webkins one day. I should. I should play some of those. I should not only play Webkins, I should play a lot of like those types of games. I should just go back and have all those childhood games that... I enjoyed it and other people enjoyed it and kind of see if they stand the test of time. But sadly, I think we all know the answer to that. 
would watch 24-7 a web webkin stream. <laughs> hey, maybe it's coming. I mean, I finished Mario. Maybe that'll be the next one to fill that, that spot in the schedule. <laughs> maybe I will. I, I feel like that could be a, a nice one-off. This kind of thing. Maybe that will be the next thing. Maybe on Friday. Because here's the thing. I personally never played Webkin growing up. Or Club Penguin. Uh, but I could definitely go to all the Flash games that I <laughs> used to play. <laughs> Too bad that Flash kind of died last year. They finally finished killing off Flash. The Disney Channel games. Yeah, it was, for me, it was more the... Cartoon Network games that they had on the website. I wonder what happened to all those games. I actually used to really love those games. Yeah, I feel like we all played all these games that no one will ever see again. And that's kind of sad. I, I want... I wish there was a better... Like, a, people were a little bit better about saving those games and keeping those games well documented, as hours of so many people's lives <laughs> were spent playing a lot of those Flash games. Yeah, I know that there is, it's it's very interesting, at least to me, that, you know, there is such a, a big push to kind of archiving a lot of these games, not just the Flash games, but even games that come out on, like, consoles and stuff, just because a lot of them disappear, especially a lot of the older ones, and, you know, they... There are people that did care about them, you know? Oh, they didn't want to... But they're just lost forever for a lot of... Dude, I remember playing Cool Math in the computer labs when we were supposed to do... <laughs> I Or the typing games. The typing programs that they would use to teach us typing always had bunch of typing games that you had to type the word for. Or we would play other games that, you know, we weren't supposed to be playing. Like Icy Tower. Oh, Icy Tower was the bomb. The first time ever seeing one of my streams was three years ago. Or two years. Yeah, I know. No, I've been... I've been streaming and or making videos online for a long time. I don't know how many of... Or if anyone came from the YouTube channel back in the day, but I started in 2008. I've been technically doing this for 11 years. No, well, 13 years now. <laughs> so. A little bit of time, you know? 13 years of your life. You know how it is. Can you hunt and cook food in this game? Yes. Yes, you can. You can hunt the deer and all the other animals, and you can cook them into- f Oh yeah, I never did that here. I did do it last night, but then I completely removed it from my house. <laughs> uh, here. You can have a little... Little thingy on your fire. And with that... Here, let me get, actually see. Oh, I could build fences! I don't really have any need for fences. Furniture... Uh, stone pile. Oh, I can make a stone pile so I don't have and a raft. All right. So, but then I go here and I can cook. So I go E and I put a, an item there. I go E, put an item there. And I, you actually wait for them to cook. And in a little bit, they'll be good. Oh, I'm pretty happy that now everything is working properly. The, hopefully the chimneys, yeah, the chimney is working. A wooden chimney, don't recommend that. There you go, so that one's ready, that one's ready. So now I have grilled the neck tip. I wonder if, I wonder if Haney is still around. Because we were making a game together once. And it was... We were lovingly calling it the Doge RPG. So, it was all about little dogs. 
and I was designing some of the enemy. So it was all about like dog memes and stuff like that. So the different doges of the world. And one of the dogs was this really... Oh, I wish I still had the drawings. <laughs> one of them was the dung fog dog. And it was like, it kind of looked like a yin yang, but it was a dog made of fog. It was some really wacky stuff, but it was a good time. It looked like a throne. Alright, so it seems like the only way is finding it in the shoreline. That seems not very intuitive. So that is a bit problematic. Did you know you can make it rain food from the sky? What? You just need to gather some flint. Cut down some... Yeah, yeah. It sounds like when people told me my uncle was the owner of Nintendo. I don't know if I believe in raining food. I feel like one of the first things you learn after you spend a lot of time on the internet is just that a lot of people are... And again, you might it might totally be something that you, you can do in this game. Just make food. Oh, there was a house ready. And I spent all my time. I. This is why you look around. Maybe there's a house ready for you to just take. And you don't have to build one from scratch. With a bed? Oh, is that a beehive? Ah, oh, it's a beehive. It's a beehive. <laughs> it's a beehive. Okay, let's open the map. This is all I've exp- Oh no, I'm getting closer to this. So it seems like it becomes dark forest, the more northward you go. I'm actually going towards the boss, which is not what I want to do. Yeah, I... This is one of the things I see the most whenever I'm just watching someone else's streams or anything. It's just people trying to catch them to say, like, really dumb stuff. So, like... You know, like, when Ligma was a thing, <laughs> and anything like that. Hello? Where are you- <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> oh, hey! It's like... The whole story of just following the leader. In this case, the leader went head first into- There's land across the- Excuse me, boars. I want to see that again. That was an interesting animation. Which does make me wonder how biomes are set in this game. So here, here we get into Black Forest. But it's just a little bit. If I had realized that earlier, I would have just kept going south. That was more powerful, it felt. I usually have to swing twice. Does it do stacked damage, slash, and pierce, so it does 12 versus 12 of... Interesting, so it does stacked. Are you getting sleepy? No, I'm actually okay. Uh, it was something that, I don't know if you were here for when I mentioned that in the first stream. I think the, the hardest thing for me, especially when I was streaming, was that I would... Don't, don't sit down. I would always get headaches probably like a couple hours into the stream and I would have to stop. I couldn't stream more than two hours. And it turned out that it was because of the lights. The lights would give me headaches just because I had them pointed direct at, directly at my face. But turns out that with a setup I have here, it's perfect. I don't get anything, any pain at all. But before, I would always be in pain when I was streaming. So, it allows me to go a lot longer because I'm feeling great. Like, I feel awesome. This was when I was in Brazil, even when I was streaming from college, recording vi videos in college. Always, since, like, 2010. 
any video I recorded, uh, that was just reality. My entire recording career that I've ever done was always like that. And I thought it was just a normal thing. It was only recently when I, <laughs> I looked it up, like here, like before I started streaming now, I looked it up and I was like, hey, you should turn the lights away or like to use different indirect lighting so that it doesn't hurt you. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> which is such a stupid thing. <laughs> such a stupid thing. But I actually, I think it's a good thing for me to be saying this often, as often as I have been saying it after I started streaming again, because I'm sure that people, some pe someone is going to make the same mistake I made, and I don't want them to have to be in pain for as long as I had to be in pain. And it probably did some real damage to my eyes, because it, it's bad for you. <laughs> Look at that pig, it's swimming. Swimming pig. Look at it go, where is it going? It's going away from land. <laughs> where are you going, buddy? Are you going to the other island? Look at him go. I can't even swim that far, because I have stamina. <laughs> I can't make it that far. It's interesting because it's so much more complicated and involved than something like Minecraft, which is... To me, it seems very simple to do a lot of things. Obviously, you can. There's a lot of depth. But to a lot of the simple things, it's a lot easier. And it has its merits for that, but I also enjoy the, the fact that some of these simpler things, they are a challenge too. They're a process. And it kind of makes it so the early game isn't so easy and cut and dry. So, can I kill the deer? A club? Oh, deer's too fast. <laughs> can you grow wheat and make bread? Probably, honestly. I have not gotten to that point yet. But I think you probably can. That's the thing too with this game this game is as if it's minecraft in 2008 before they added more and more things because this is where it is in its life cycle right now this game just came out in the last two weeks so it's, and it's like in pre-release as in it's not done yet so it's like when minecraft was in beta or whatnot this land is hard and wild but harder still comfort traveler and the gifts of the forest Trying to read. Look also for the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and end of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Your stock. Roots of the ground are their pleasure. Eat of your stock. I need to figure out how to get the pigs. And I won't look this up because this is a, now part of the interesting process of kind of like figuring out. How to do this. Okay, okay, pig, check this out. Bam! Oh, oh, I did it! No! Oh, my work. Okay, so you do do it like that. Yeah, no, so it does work. Okay, okay. I'm gonna make a little pig pen. I'm gonna make a little pig pen, but I'll look for more mushrooms along the way. I guess you do do it like that, but, oh, and it's gonna follow me now, so maybe I could actually use this, even this specific pig for my pig farm. I feel like an Olympian running with a torch. He has such good form. Bum, 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 bum. You can probably ride deer too if you like are able to to calm them and stuff. I'm sure you can do so many things in this game that I'm just completely unaware of. Oh, I can. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. I was going in the slightly wrong direction. Ten, 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 ten. Bum, 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 bum. 
get out of my house. Bed needs a fire nearby. Ah. You dreamt of great tree reaching out through the night. One half of its branches crackle with flames. The other are green. The dream? Oh, I don't know. That's a cool thing. Because it has story and it has like goals and stuff, I think it might have to do with the things that we have to, to accomplish. Maybe we will find whatever that is that she that the dreams are mentioning. Maybe we will find those things. Which, that's why too, I think this is so interesting. It's not just Ooh, hunting deer is probably going to be real, really fun. Because you have to be quiet, you have to approach with the... Hello? That'll be a, an interesting development. So that's going to be it for me tonight. This was quite a long stream. Seven hours. Seven hours streaming. Not bad, not bad. This is looking a lot more pleasant too. I need to get rid of that <laughs> piece of wood protruding from the side there. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and hope you have a good night, have a good day, wherever you might be. And I will see you on Friday. As always, as a reminder, streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday, from 8 to around midnight EST. I will be back in a couple days. Good night.